what's up y'all it's peaches your favorite nail tech welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're gonna be here for a while okay turn on them notifications go ahead and subscribe sit down get your snack get settled and welcome to the channel okay so today's video is on a shorter length this is what i would call medium short it's not quite all the way short short but you know it's like medium pretty much and these are the colors that i'm using milky white la sunset and of course that is young nails core clear in the background and y'all know my liquid is young nails because i don't play that okay so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the marble now i know i did do a marble video and that was just like a specific look of a marble like a specific style but this is really how i do like just regular how I just do a standard marble if I'm not going for nothing in particular. I lay down the background color and I go ahead and swirl a little bit on top. And I am showing both hands of application so I'll go into more detail on the other hand. But first I want to go ahead and do tonight's subscriber shout out. And that person would be Jenna Arrington or Gina. Gina, Jenna, I appreciate you boo. Thank you for subscribing. I'm so glad you're able to tune in. And you guys another thing, I know I be uploading late. But I try to make up for it because how often do I upload? You said, huh? You said, how often? Every night. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Every night. Yes, everybody. Every night. Okay? Because y'all already know, I do nails so often. I, I record everything and I put it all out there. Okay? So to make up for how late I upload, I try and at least do it every day. So you guys have something to watch every single day. Okay? Okay. So, as you guys can see, hopefully my voice was not distracting you, but it's very it's fairly easy to do a marble. I will do an actual like marble tutorial. And you know they get to ride in their motorbikes. It's like <laughs> y'all every day these people want to do something every day while I'm trying to um record. It's trifling. It really is. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Um I will do an actual tutorial on how to do a marble set. But I just felt like that other look was pretty interesting. It would be interesting for people to watch. And you guys are still running up the view. So I appreciate you. Okay. So in any instance, no matter how you do your marble with acrylic, you need to cap it and clear. And you want to make sure you have a nice structure. And no matter the length of the nail, no nails should be paper thin. I don't care if they flat, if they stiletto, if they square, if they curved. I just don't believe that every nail should be paper thin. Just because if you're like breaking nails and doing things like that the more nails you break the more stress you're putting on your real nails and the more damage that's occurring and then you won't be able to have nails because your nails won't last because your real nails is damaged and it's just a vicious cycle so just you know when you think about it put a little put a little something something you know put a little stank on it when you think of like oh is this too thin if you're feeling like it's too thin it probably is so just add just add one more bead just for security okay so basically for this particular set she wanted to do one nail on each hand that was going to be marble and she wanted like a pink and white marble but she didn't want the pink to like be too too pink like too bright so we did go back and forth about the colors i suggested this pink which is la sunset and there's another pink called um peach punch and which has a shimmer in it and then there's one called blast off which is like a shade up from this so those were the ones that I recommended for her. She was still kind of concerned, like, ooh, is it too pink? And I'm like, girl, no. Because she was like, is it too bright? I'm like, girl, this is not bright pink. Like, it's dark pink, but it ain't bright pink. So just when you're talking to your clients, just let them know the difference between bright, dark, you know, translucent, the opacity, all that matters. Because really what they're trying to communicate is, although we know this color is not bright pink, they're really trying to communicate, hey, is this too much color for me? Okay, especially for some clients that are not used to that. Okay, boom, bam. So then I was like, well, do you want one white finger on, you know, because the marble, you know. She was like, you know what, we can add a white finger. And so she was like, you know what, you just choose the order. This is just what we're going to do. I said, okay, boom, bow. So you guys know when you're doing basic, more basic nails to increase your, like, use the acrylic to your advantage for this you know increase the surface <sighs> y'all okay i'm doing a little bit too much basically what i'm trying to say is spread the acrylic out so it takes up most of the nail and the reason why you see me jumping back and forth is because on this particular day it was so cold in my suite you guys that my acrylic was not drying very well so i really like she was my third client of the day when i tell you my first client of the day her by the time i was on the middle finger like 
when I was done with the middle finger and onto the thumb already, the middle finger was still not dry. So it was, this particular day was a pain in the ass because of that. So if you see me going back and forth from nails that seem like they're already done, it's because I have to keep checking and pretty much keep patting the shape down to make sure the acrylic didn't move because I was having problems that day. Okay, so that's what that is. But um, yeah, so basic nails, you guys know, really at this length you should be able to only take a couple of beads and get it done you know unless you're like me and the acrylic is not drying and if it's not drying that means it's not setting up which means it's not like stiffening so all your beads are kind of like flattening out very quickly which is what you don't want okay so as we go to the pinky i'm gonna try and dry the bead out a little bit extra and you know try and work with it from there but you know at this length you really just kind of want to um use the acrylic spread it around you know i'm a fan of like pat 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 and not swipe 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 when you swipe see how i'm patting and that's just moving the acrylic around when you swipe your acrylic like swiping is for ombres because that means you're just um how do i explain that i need to do a video on different techniques like the swipe the pull the pat the you know <laughs> because i feel like that's a concept that's hard for people to understand, especially when they're new. And I don't want to mislead nobody. See what that was? That was a, this is a pat, boom, swipe. So a swipe is moving acrylic, like I'm kind of debulking it. I don't want to carry all of it down, just a little bit. And that's how you can kind of end up with stuff that's like too thin if you're doing a lot of swiping, cause you're really swiping a lot of the acrylic away. You're swiping a lot of product away, okay? So, here we are all ready to the thumb and I do want to point out I want to say this set took me maybe like an hour and 35 minutes or something it was this set was really quick and I didn't expect that it was gonna take hella long because realistically it's a basic set with um, two marble nails and you guys can see you see that that index finger the white finger how it has like a little bit of an apex there it's not completely flat but it ain't bulked up we don't want no brick hulk nails okay we do not want no nails looking buff that's not what we want okay um i am gonna do the other hand but i do want to point out you guys that this video also does include some filing on one hand and that is around the 15 minute mark i'm trying to increase my watch time like keeping people engaged Okay, because most of the time it says that most people watch only about five minutes in my video. And I don't know if that includes skipping around as well. But I am interested in trying to like get my, um, what do you want to call that, y'all? Like people's attention span. I know the videos are long and I almost did not include the filing because I'm like, y'all would rather watch a 15 minute video than a 19 minute video. But it's like at the end of the day, 15 minutes or 19 minutes, most people is only watching like five to seven minutes anyway so i might as well go ahead and do it so that way those who really want to see they could go ahead and see so basically you see that thumb it's just I, okay i didn't have to say it like that i had seen a little glimpse of the little, little apex so cute so freaking look at it look at the structure y'all know i'm i'm a fool i'm a fool for structure anyways y'all know you <laughs> I'm a, just such a motor mouth. I really don't even know how people listen and sit here and I'm just talking, talk, 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 talk. But, you know, people say they like my voiceovers. So, you know, hey. Okay. And here is a rare glimpse of me changing out my paper towel. This is what you're supposed to do. And I was trying to be, like, doing the right thing and change it out sooner than I normally do. So, boom. So, okay, here's a good example. I had too much pink mixed with the white, and that was kind of on accident, but to fix that, it's not a big deal. Like, just add a little bit more white, and when you're marbling, use the tip of your brush. You see how I use a tip? Because it's gonna spread everything around, and colors like this is so easy to marble. Pink just gives that look. Pink marble is cute as hell. I don't care what nobody say. You can't tell me otherwise. Like, this set, I was really loving this set. I'm like, you know what, it is very basic. But this color, like, this color pink is so cute to me. And people don't use it enough, really. They don't. So here we go. We're continuing to marble. And you guys can see how when you marble, 
you'll just know how much is enough product like I said before I don't like when I'm doing stuff that needs to be capped and clear I don't like the base to be um, like paper thin because otherwise that's just I have to cap even more you know so it's like let's put a little bit of strength down already so when I cap it doesn't have to be that much so I don't mind using larger beads to marble because I'm comfortable with that but you do what you are comfortable with okay boo that's what I want you to do but we're gonna push ourselves out of our comfort zone absolutely so if you're if you're used to using these little tiny small ass beads I want you to pick up a more medium sized bead and you get to practicing with that okay because we all have to start somewhere and if we challenge ourselves every single day you're gonna get where you want to get and our prompt you know what I need to make some pasta salad that sounds so good I don't even think I have the ingredients for real but sometimes oh I need to start doing that so I can have lunch at work I'm sorry you guys like I said I'm I've done this voiceover like four times and I can't remember which one I said that I'm you know my mind is a little bit erratic but it is so you know it's okay so here we go for the um, pinky I decided to go ahead and use the, the pink and okay so watch this you see how that even though it is a larger bead when it's set up you see how I'm patting when the bead set up and it gets to this point to where it wants you to guide it okay that's what we're gonna say it wants you to guide it and you just need to pat it into place you see how easy that is like I know earlier I kept saying the word surface and I want to say surface area like we want to maximize the surface area of the nail with the acrylic so we're not sitting here all day and night you know just doing a basic set so don't be scared well you're gonna be scared but like don't be because you'll get it okay you will and don't be scared of this length either oh you see how that marble nail how the clear on the um on the um what's that on the corner is kind of like dragging down it's cuz it's a little cold so the monomer is taking a long the monomer the acrylic is taking a while to dry because it's like literally uh, if you didn't know that um monomer and polymer which is powder they form a chemical reaction okay they form like all these little polymer chains and things like that that cause heat to do its thing and chemically react so when it's like cold it just takes longer for that to happen you know because it's yeah anyways anyways <laughs> i guess i decided to like not do nothing about it maybe i just didn't see it and i was like hey whatever but so here we go again i'm trying to let it set up and this is well you guys know this is sped up quite obviously but I'm sorry you guys y'all know I'll be tired okay so you see how the I had to fix the acrylic right there and put the the apex back where it belongs because it damn slide it down and I was like dang this is crazy like don't do me like this and I don't even like this hasn't happened in, in a while so where it's like this noticeable of like dang what's going on crazy right it was cold as hell in there really but you guys leave me some comments below Deshay I know you gonna leave me a comment if y'all didn't know Deshay she is one of my regulars she be all up and through my YouTube channel my chats the live so if you see Deshay just say hey okay tell her I said hey <laughs> she cool she really cool I really enjoy my clients I have like a really nice group of regulars oh shoot anyway oh my goodness y'all want to know something the crazy thing is I'm really sitting here laying in bed I should go eat something again well I had some 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 uh, doggone red snapper with some macaroni and cheese and yams earlier and you want to know something else I went up there, I placed my order at Jimmy's. It was 4 10 p.m. That man said 15, 10, 15 minutes. I'm waiting there. I see the line is long. I understand it's Jimmy's. Sometimes it takes a while. 
Okay, why is 445? And I feel like every number except for mine's was called. People with big orders, all this. I'm like, excuse me. Um, y'all is done with my number yet almost or whatever. And they was like, what's the number? I gave them. They said, oh, what was your size? Yeah, do you want to know they fixed my plate so quick? I knew they hadn't forgot about me. But it, you know what? They put some extra yams on my plate. So that's cool. So, But that was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. But if y'all could see me the way I'm laid up in this bed looking like Frederick Doggo Douglas. It's like I just, I cannot be bothered with doing my hair. It's very bad. Very bad. I wear a hat to work every day with a little low bun. And I don't want to go bald headed. Been there, done that off that. Please, child, please. So, I need motivation to do my hair. Honestly, maybe one of these days I'll I'll do my hair on the live with nails on so I have a reason like, hey guys, this is how you you do stuff with nails. I don't know. I shouldn't be eating candy, but let me give me a piece. Okay, so we're gonna get back to the video. And Just look at the thumb. I went through a phase where I really just love doing the thumb. Because a lot of people's thumbs just be so cute to me. <coughs> Damn. I didn't choke all the candy. <coughs> Damn. I didn't choke twice on the candy. Okay, so I'm about to show you the application. Boom, this is what it looks like after the application. And now. We're just gonna file right quick. So, pretty easy. If you guys need a filing tutorial, um, I have a bunch on my channel. Well, I got one for stiletto, I got one for coffin. Y'all know I got one for square. And I'm about to upload the one for lipstick soon. So, uh, if you want some detailed ones but you guys know what's square just keep that file straight y'all know I like to file vertically and horizontally to make sure we get that in the mail bed and you guys know I like to hand file over the surface to make sure everything is just smooth which it is we just double checking you know we just double checking Sometimes it's crazy to watch these videos because it's like, damn, that's me. Like, I already did this and I'm watching myself now doing it. Oh, you guys. Oh, my gosh. My new camera setup came. I got a new phone tripod or whatever. It's like an overhead one. It has like a crane arm like how my lamp does. And now my hat won't be hitting the thing no more. I'm so happy. Super happy. I forgot to tell you guys and here we are on the thumb and then you guys are gonna see me flip my hand over no not flip my hand flip her hand flip her hand straighten out the tips and then boom bam we're done so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I appreciate all the love keep it coming keep it coming cuz we're gonna we're gonna do it in 2022 with this YouTube channel let me tell you something okay don't forget to comment like and subscribe turn on your notifications you guys I upload every single day you do not want to miss this here is the shape and the final look of course you guys follow me on Instagram at nails by pretty face turn the notifications on once again and y'all already know when y'all finish see me we finish each other tomorrow have a good night y'all Thank you.